How are you doing? I'm doing great. What movies have you seen lately? I saw Forrest Gump the other day. What type of movie is that? The movie type is drama. I can't believe you are watching movies. The weather is great. You should be outside. I hate the hot weather. I'd rather stay indoors with the air conditioner. What else do you like to do besides watching movies? I like to play computer games, read books, go shopping, and play pool. Out of those, what is your favorite? My favorite is to play computer games. What is your favorite computer game? My favorite is Diablo. It used to be StarCraft, but it's getting a little old. If you like to play so much, when do you ever exercise? Although I hate to exercise, I go jogging at least twice a week. That's pretty good. By the way, what are you doing next Saturday? I'm going to the bookstore. I am having a party Saturday night at my house. If you have time, you should come. That sounds like fun. Great. I'll see you on Saturday. Okay. See you later. Hello. Hi, Steve. This is Mike. What are you doing? Oh, hi. I was just watching TV. There's nothing to watch right now. I know. I was watching a rerun. I have nothing to do and I was bored. Me too. Let's get together and do something. I'd like to, but I have to meet my parents in an hour for dinner. How about tomorrow? Yeah, let's plan something tomorrow. Did you hear the weather forecast for tomorrow? I think it's going to be the same as today. Clear and sunny. That's great. We can do something outdoors then. Are there any special events going on tomorrow? Yeah, I think there's a live outdoor concert by the river tomorrow. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. Let's go check it out. Do you know what time it starts? It starts at 1 p.m. Let's meet for lunch at 11.30 and afterwards we can head over there. Perfect. I'll see you in front of the apartment at 11.30. Steve, is that you? Yeah, what's going on? Not much. What a surprise to see you here. Yeah, it's been a couple of months since I saw you. What have you been up to? I just started working out. Really? Where do you work out at? I joined the Samsung Health Club last month. What do you mostly do during your workout? I concentrate mostly on my legs, chest, arms, and stomach. I should start exercising more. It's hard work while exercising, but it's a great feeling when I get done. I have a running machine at home. I used to use it, but I already got sick of it. Exercising at home is hard. The environment is not suited for exercising. If I want to exercise, I will need to join a gym. I have a couple of guest passes. You want to check out my health club? That's a good idea. Let's go over the weekend. Great. I'll call you Saturday morning. All right. I'll talk to you later. Hi. What's your name? My name is Jung Min. What's your name? My name is Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Yes. It's nice to meet you, too. Are you a new student, too? No. I'm a sophomore. I take it you're a new student? Yeah. It's pretty exciting to be here. Have fun while it lasts. The excitement wears off real quick, especially after you see how much homework you get. Where are you from? I'm from Korea. My parents wanted me to go to an American university, so I came here. I've never been to Korea. I've been to Japan before, but never Korea. Why were you in Japan? My father thought it would be a good experience to take a vacation to a different country. He's so into learning about different cultures. That's pretty cool. I thought it would have been more fun if I went without my parents. Well, if you ever want to visit Korea, I would be happy to show you around. Thanks for the offer. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, the professor is coming. We'll talk more after class. Okay. Hey, John. Did you register for classes yet? I registered this Friday. What classes do you plan on taking? I really want to take the communication class, but I don't know if it will be available. Is that class really that popular? Yeah. I tried to get in last semester, but it was full by the time I registered. What other classes are you going to take? I still need to take English 201, but I really don't like writing. I took that class already. There is a lot of writing, but it's not that bad. Oh, really? Who was the instructor? There are like four different instructors to choose from. I had Professor Mahoney. Is he an easy grader? I'm not sure if he is or not, but I thought he was definitely fair. Do you mind if I ask you what you got? Not at all. I got a 3.8. Well, what did you get in English 101 last year? I got a 4.0 in that class. Well, I can't compare to you. I got a 3.1 in English 101. That means if you got a lower grade in English 201, it must be harder. It's not what it appears. I actually tried harder in the 101 class. If I put as much effort into the 201 class, I would have received the same grade. Oh, that helps. Thanks. Hey, Mike. I forgot about registration. I'm a day late, so all the classes are mostly full. What do you think I should do? You're screwed. You can't do anything about that. You have to hope you get some classes that will be useful. Do you think going to the registration building will help at all? 
No, they'll tell you the same thing in the worst way. Did you register yet? Of course. Registering for classes is not something you want to miss. What classes do you think are still open? Well, I know Psychology 101 is a big class, so there will always be seats in that class. You can also get into Sociology. That's helpful. Thanks. But what do you think about Philosophy? I wanted to take this class this semester. I took that class last year. The professor is really cool. So if you go to his office, you can get him to sign a card that will let you in, even if the class is full. He does that? I guess that's because so many people drop out of that class. That makes sense. I think I'll do that. Thanks for all the help. No problem, man. Did you get your grades yet? Yeah, my whole GPA is screwed up now. Why? What happened? Well, I bombed my econ final and ended up with a 1.7. Ouch! You must be very disappointed. Well, it's my fault because I didn't study as much as I should have. Why don't you retake the class next year? That's what I plan on doing unless I keep screwing up. How did you do this semester? I didn't do that well either. I ended up with a 3.2 this semester. That drops my total GPA to 3.45. My GPA is pretty similar to yours. I have a 3.1 now because of the stupid econ class. What was your GPA before the semester? I was sitting happy with 3.4. Why did it go down so much? Let's just say I screwed up more than my econ class. What happened to you? I started playing StarCraft and ended up wasting a lot of time. You better stop slacking off. You're right. I'm not going to play games during school anymore. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Stacy. How was your summer vacation? I worked over the summer at a restaurant. Have to make tuition money, right? What did you do? I took summer school. I withdrew from two of my classes last year, so I wanted to make them up. So are you officially a junior now? Yeah, and I have five credits to spare. I only needed to take ten credits over the summer, but I took fifteen because the price was the same. That makes sense. So where's Nicole? She dropped out of school completely. Really? Why? She worked at a startup company as an intern, and since the business did well, they asked her if she wanted to work full time. Wow, she's so lucky. She doesn't have a degree, and she already has a job? It sounds good now, but I'm traditional. I want the degree, so I wouldn't have accepted the offer. Do you know how much they are paying her? I don't know, but I bet it must have been a good offer, or she wouldn't have accepted it. Did you already take the history exam? Yeah, it was hard. When do you take it? I take it tomorrow morning. There is so much material that I don't know what to emphasize on. What types of questions did you get? Mostly on the Civil War. You should also study the impact Martin Luther King Jr. had on American society. What about Abraham Lincoln? Did you get any questions about him? I only had one question about him, but you might get more. I don't know if he will have the same exam or not. Hopefully he will use the same exam, because I'm going to spend most of my time studying the Civil War. It is a huge section, and that is what he lectured the most on in class. If you can't study everything, then that is probably the best way to go. All right. Thanks for the info. I gotta go to the library now. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Hey, Bobby. What's going on? Yeah, just taking a smoke break. Uh, I forgot my cigarette today. Do you have another one? Sure. Here you go. Hey, thanks. I didn't know you smoked. Really? I've been smoking for over a year now. Oh, you're new to smoking still. I've been smoking for seven years. You ever tried to quit? Many times. I'm really addicted. It's harder to stop than you think. Yeah, I tried to quit last month, and I thought it was going to be easy, but it turns out that I'm still smoking. I highly recommend you quit soon. The longer you smoke, the harder it becomes to quit. I think you're right. All right, got to go to class. Hey, thanks for the cigarette. I'll talk to you later. No problem. Talk to you later. Do you drink much? Depending on what you consider a lot. How frequently do you drink? A couple times a week. How about you? Only when I go out. I'm not a big drinker. How much can you drink? I usually only have two beers. You are lightweight. How much can you drink? I'm usually drinking all night long. At least ten drinks. Don't you spend a lot of money then? No, we usually go to places that have special. Dante's over in the Ave has five dollar pitchers on Mondays. So for ten, fifteen bucks, I can get a lot of drinks. That's true. If you don't like beer, have you tried mixed drinks? Some of them are pretty good. I like beer. It's just that I get a headache when I drink more than three. You just have to build up a tolerance. I used to be like that, but your body gets used to it. It'll take a while, but I'm working on it. Hey, let's go out tomorrow night. The Ram Bar and Grill is having a special on pitchers. All right. Did your wife give birth yet? Yeah, she's a healthy, beautiful girl. Oh, congratulations. How's your wife doing? She's tired, but getting a lot of rest now. That's good to hear. 
I'm just glad there were no complications. If your wife and baby are both happy, what more can you ask for? It's been a week and I haven't slept that well. That's normal for anyone with a newborn. Yeah, but it's so hard. I have to work and then go home and then take care of the wife and the baby. I'm going to get sick at this rate. You'll get used to it. After everything stabilizes, you can regain your health. That's true. I should make sure my wife and baby stay healthy during this time. <laughs> You've been sneezing a lot lately. Are you sick or something? No, every springtime around April, I'm stricken with allergies. I never have seasonal allergies. Consider yourself lucky. What are all the symptoms? Well, as you just saw, I sneeze a lot. Also, my nose becomes very runny, my throat sometimes itches, and my eyes start to water. That doesn't sound good. No, it's not. So you don't have any type of allergies? Well, I have a severe allergic reaction to alcohol. It runs in the family. Everyone to some extent is allergic to alcohol. I get it pretty bad. My whole face turns red, including my ears. My eyes become bloodshot, and I start to itch all over my body. That's pretty bad. But that doesn't stop me from drinking. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Have you lost weight? Hi, Julie. Yeah, I've been on a diet for a couple months now. Wow, you look great. Thanks for noticing. What type of diet were you on? I joined a health club and my trainer gave me tips on eating. With a combination of eating better and exercising, I managed to lose 15 pounds in two months. That's amazing. What tips did your trainer give you? Mostly on how to exercise, but the best advice I got was changing my eating habits. Instead of eating three times a day, she told me to eat five times a day. That doesn't make sense. If you eat more, then how did you lose weight? Actually, I'm eating the same amount. I eat five smaller meals a day. Basically, it naturally speeds up the metabolism and helps to burn fat at a faster rate. That makes sense. I'm going to try that. You don't need to lose weight. I have a little gut I've been trying to get rid of. Ah, but remember to incorporate a little exercise into your diet. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Can you believe her? She is not even a hundred pounds and she is going off on how she wants to go on a diet. Tell me about it. If I was as small as her, I wouldn't think about going on a diet. Me too. But what are we going to do? I have been on four different diets and I can't seem to lose weight. That's because you don't exercise. If you were more active, you wouldn't have a dieting problem. What do you know? You're overweight, too. I'm not on a diet, though. I know, but I don't have someone to diet with. If we help each other and motivate each other, then I think we can lose some weight. I like ice cream too much, though. Come on. You'll feel better and look better, and as a reward, you can eat a little bit of ice cream here and there. It does sound appealing. It's a great idea. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. Going on a diet with a friend to back you up is a great way to succeed. Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Great. I'll get our plan started right away. Can we start tomorrow, though? You see that chick over there? The one in the red shirt? Yeah, isn't she hot? She's alright. Just alright? She's hot. Why don't you go talk to her? You think she's out of my league? Hell no. You're just a chicken, that's all. Come on, I get nervous when I talk to girls. Why don't you go and stand next to her for a while, and if an opportunity comes up, strike a conversation. What do I talk about? It doesn't matter. You gotta find what she's interested in and go with that. I don't know. You want me to go talk to her? No, stay away from her. If you don't do anything, I'll bet somebody else will. Okay, already, I'll try. Hey Jack, what's going on? Hey Matt, I'm going to ask Martha to marry me. Really? When did you decide this? I already knew she was the one, but I decided to pop the big question about two weeks ago. I'm just debating on how to do it. That's exciting, man. So how do you propose? Oh, you shouldn't use my example. It wasn't special. I kind of wish I'd made it more special, but it's too late now. What do you think I should do? There's a lot of options. You can surprise her over dinner, or ask her in a public area, or if you have the balls, ask her father in front of her. I never thought about that. Thought about what? Asking her father in front of her. How do you think she will react? I don't know. You should know how she's going to react. She's your girlfriend. I think that's the idea I'm looking for. Thanks, man. Don't mention it. Good luck. You're gonna need it. What sport do you like the most? 
I like baseball the best. Me too. Did you play when you were a kid? Yeah, I played until I graduated from high school. What position did you play? I think I tried every position, but the last few years I played third base. I hate third base. It's scary when the ball is coming at you so fast. It was scary at first, but after a while I got used to it. If you have fast reflexes, then it's not really a problem. What position did you play? I played outfield. I hated the infield because I had never figured out the bounces. I wish I could play again, but there isn't much opportunities around here. I'm on a softball league. It's not fast pitch, but it's still fun. You want to join our group? When do you guys play? We play either Tuesdays or Thursdays. Sounds pretty fun. I'll come out and join you next time. What sports do you like to play? I like baseball and basketball. How about football? In my country, football is brand new, so I never learned the game when I was younger. It's a very popular game in America. Yeah, I heard a lot about it. Is it really that fun? For me, it's one of those games that are both fun to watch and play. Are you a football player? No, I just play for fun with my friends. We play two-hand touch or flag football. We're too old to play tackle football. What is two-hand touch and flag football? Instead of tackling somebody, you just have to touch them with two hands. Or if it is flag football, grab the flag the ball carrier is wearing. I see. It's safer then, right? Exactly. We play every Saturdays on the field by the tennis courts. If you want to learn and play a little, you're welcome to join us. I'll give it a try. Give me a call and let's go down together. Okay. I'll call you Saturday morning. Great. Hey, Steve. When's the next time you're going to play golf? I'm going out this Saturday. Do you already have a foursome? Unfortunately, we do. Let's plan for something together for Wednesday. We can go right after work. That sounds good. Where do you want to play? We won't have much time, so let's play somewhere close to work. How about Bellevue? It's pretty close. How much does it cost over there? Twilight rates are $21. That's pretty good. Let's do it. All right. I'll get a tea time for Wednesday at about 4 o'clock. Make it 4.15. I won't get off until 4. Okay. I'll call you later when I get a tea time. Sounds good. I'll see you on Wednesday then. All right. Have fun on Saturday. Will do. Hey, Jackie. What are you doing? Nothing much. I'm just relaxing today. Why? What's going on? I was thinking about heading to the mall. Do you want to go? Are they having a sale? Yeah. Both Bonn and Nordstrom's is having their annual sale. It's a great time to buy some clothes you've been holding out on. That sounds great. Where should we meet? I'll meet you in front of Nordstrom's in 30 minutes. Sounds good. See you there. What do you think about these shoes? They're cute, but do you think you'll really wear them? No, not really. This sweater is so pretty. I love the low neck design. I bet it's expensive. It's on sale for $80. What do you think? Should I try it on? For 80 bucks, it looks great. Go try it on. Where's your dressing room? Right over there. How did you like the sweater? I loved it. I'll take it. Great. I can ring you up over here. It comes to 8704. Here you go. Do you have a credit card with us? No, I don't. If you open up a card, you can save 10% on all your purchases today. Not today. Thanks, though. No problem. We always have this offer. So whenever you decide to, just let us know. Sure. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I was looking at some of your pants, but they are all a bit too long. Do you have alteration services here? Yes, it costs $7, and it takes one day. Great. Thanks for your help. Thank you, and have a great day. I love your bracelet. When did you get it? I got it a while ago, but I haven't worn it much. You really like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Is it white gold or silver? It's white gold. Where did you buy it? My boyfriend took me to the Shane Company, and he let me pick it out. That's so sweet. What was the occasion? That's the best part. It wasn't for anything special. He just wanted to buy me something. You're so lucky. If he bought you something for no special day, I wonder what he would buy you for your birthday. My birthday is coming up. We'll find out pretty soon. What do you want? I wouldn't mind a necklace. I was at the jewelry shop looking around, and they have a couple of beautiful necklaces I want. Why not a ring? I don't think I'm ready for a ring from him yet. But you're ready for everything else. Uh-huh. Hi, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Can I look at this ring? Sure. Let me get it out for you. What's your size? I believe I am a six. Here you go. Would you have any necklace that would go well with this? Actually, we have a few to choose from. They're over here. There's no price tag on this necklace. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll check the price for you. It's $199.
This necklace is a little short. Do you have one that is longer? Yeah. Why don't you try this one on? This one is much better. Can I try on the ring with this necklace? Sure. Here you go. Let me think about it. Sure. Take your time. Thank you for all the help. No problem at all. What a beautiful watch. It goes very well with your ring. Thank you. Is that your wedding ring? I'm not married yet. It's my engagement ring. Well, congratulations. When is the big date? In June. Did you have the watch before getting the ring? Actually, we bought the ring together after I got the watch. You did a fabulous job with the selection. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. What kind of watch is it? It's a tag hewer. If you don't mind me asking, how much do they cost? This one is $1,500, but they range from 600 to 3000 That's why it looks so nice. I should have figured. You always get what you pay for. Yeah, I would rather get one nice watch instead of 20 mediocre ones. Hey, Susie, guess what? I'm having a baby. Really? That's so great. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm so excited. We've been trying for eight months now. That's really exciting. How many months are you pregnant? Three months. Are you going to find out if it's a boy or a girl? I want to, but Bob doesn't. He wants to be surprised like the old-fashioned way. Maybe it's more exciting not knowing. I'd rather know and buy all the baby things ahead of time. There are so many things you have to prepare for. I know. I am going to be busy, but I know I can handle it. I've been looking forward to this day for a long, long time. It really must be an exciting time for you guys. Thank you so much. Jared, I just heard about your father. How is he doing? He's in the hospital resting. The doctors didn't give a clear answer yet. I'm so sorry to hear that, but this is a good hospital. I'm sure they'll do whatever they can. I hope so. You must feel really worried right now, but you know your dad is a fighter. Yeah, I think my mom is the most worried. I'm basically worried about how she's doing. Where is she right now? She's in the hospital with my dad. I have to go back tonight. Hey, I'll go with you. You don't have to. It's really no problem. Okay, let's go right after dinner. What stresses you out the most? Probably my parents. How so? Well, during school, they wanted good grades. Then after I got a job, they wanted me to get a better job. And finally, they want me to get married. You have to deal with a lot of pressure from your parents. Your parents are not like that? Ever since I brought home some bad grades in elementary school, they never expected much. You're lucky. What do you do to deal with stress? Not much I can do. It's always there. I sometimes go out with some friends and drink, but that's only a temporary solution. The stress always returns in the morning. That sucks. You want to go grab a beer? Sure. Sounds great. Let's go. Sarah, you look terrible. What's wrong? My grandmother just passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. When did this happen? A couple of days ago. I just got back from the funeral. Is there anything I can do? No, not really. The sad thing is that I wasn't there when she died. I really wanted to be there one last time. I'm sure she knew you loved her. Did she pass away in the hospital? Yeah, she died in her sleep. I'm sorry she's gone. At least she didn't suffer. I think your grandmother would want you to think of all the good times you spent together. I know, but I miss her. When my grandmother passed away, I frequently visited her in the cemetery. I always talked to her. Even though she wasn't there, I somehow knew she heard what I said. Yeah? That's what I was thinking, too. Thanks. It looks like you haven't eaten anything all day. We should get you something to eat. You're right. I should eat something. Let's go. Why are you so quiet? My girlfriend just broke up with me. You must feel terrible now. Yeah. I remember my first breakup. It was the worst feeling in the world. I was crying every day for three months. And slowly, it got better. I know you'll feel better too. You've been through this too? Yeah, I remember it very clearly. The pain makes it easy to remember. I know you're really hurting right now. But you know many people experience breakups. But it hurts too much. I know it's painful. But it's only temporary. After the pain goes away, you'll find other girls. What if I don't want to find another girl? You'll change your mind. Look at everyone in the world. They all break up and move on. The faster you understand this, the quicker you will recover. You're right. I also know you, you must still have strong feelings for her.
but try to think of all the bad things. You know, she didn't treat you that well. Is that the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yeah. Thanks for the talk. I'll give you a call later. We should hang out. It's good to be around people. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Jack. How's it going? I'm falling in love. What? With who? That girl in my econ class. She is so hot. Did you guys go on a date already? No. I didn't even talk to her yet. But I think I'm in love. Does she have a boyfriend? I don't think so. I've been following her around campus and I haven't seen another guy. Dude, you're a stalker, man. Just ask her on the date. I plan on running into her in the cafeteria when she's alone. I think I'll ask her then. So, why do you think you're in love? She's the only thing I can think of all day long. That's called blind love. Well, I gotta run. Tell me how it goes next week. Alright, I'll talk to you later. What happened to that girl you were seeing? Oh, Jackie? We broke up last week. That was a short relationship. You only started dating two months ago. It was actually a long two months. She was a psycho. What do you mean? She would be laughing one moment, and if I'd said something insensitive, she would start crying. I didn't want to deal with that. She sounds very emotional. She was a psycho, man. One time we were supposed to get together, I was waiting for her call, and when she finally called, she was screaming why I wasn't at her place. Were you supposed to be there? I thought she was going to call when she was done shopping. It was a misunderstanding. She was literally screaming on the phone over this. Okay, you're right. She's a psycho. I'm just glad it's over. Hey Matt, I just got a job at a consulting firm. Congratulations, that's great. I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about finding a job and interviewing anymore. When do you start? I start next Monday. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours, you know. I know. I'm a little nervous, but it's pretty exciting. I bet. You must be stoked. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate tonight. Want to hang out? Sure. It's on you, right? Of course. How about Toby? Should we call him? I don't know. He's a little depressed. He's having a hard time finding a job right now. I should still tell him. In the least, I can refer him to my company. It might help. That sounds like a good idea. Martha, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Jake just broke up with me. I'm sorry. When did this happen? Yesterday. I didn't even know it was coming. He just told me he found someone else. What a jerk. He doesn't deserve you. But it still hurts. I thought I loved him. He didn't treat you that well either. Maybe you don't want to hear this, but I think you can do better. Better or worse? It doesn't matter. I had a lot of feelings for him. I really liked him. It must be really painful. I remember when Josh and I broke up. I was crying for a week. I know. I'll get over him. My first breakup was painful because I was naive. Exactly. You'll find someone again. You should get your mind off of this. Let's go shopping. Maybe tomorrow. I don't feel like it tonight. How about coffee down the street? Sure. Ronald was moving to college. He needed a place to stay. Every apartment around the school was very expensive. I'm going to be a homeless college student, he joked. Ronald thought of a solution. He posted an advertisement online. He wrote, Looking for a roommate around college campus. Must be neat and sane. Within one day, he had 20 replies. Ronald didn't really want to share an apartment with a stranger. However, this was the only way he could afford anything. I just hope he's not dirty or crazy, he thought. After interviewing everyone, he picked a guy he really liked. They ended up being friends their whole lives. Laura cared a lot about the environment. She worried about the future of the planet. She made sure to recycle everything she could. She even rode her bike everywhere she went. Laura wanted to do whatever she could to prevent pollution or global warming. One day, 
Laura was riding her bike home. A truck in front of her threw a bag of trash out their window. This made Laura furious. She picked up the bag and followed the truck. When it finally parked, she threw the bag into the window. The driver of the truck turned out to be a cop. He charged her on two accounts. One was for assault of an officer. The other was for littering. Karen hated wearing makeup. She felt fake and weird when she wore any. All her friends laughed at her. Don't be a little boy, they would say. You're going to look ugly without it. Karen believed them. Apart from not liking how it felt, Karen hated the price. Makeup is very expensive. She did not want to waste money on it. But every girl she knew wore it. I guess I have to buy it, Karen thought. One day, Karen met a boy she really liked. He thought Karen was nice and funny. Still, he didn't want to ask her out. Why not? asked his friends. She wears too much makeup, he replied. Mr. and Mrs. Green were new parents. Their baby was born two months before. For two months, they hadn't gotten any sleep. The baby took every minute of their days. They needed a break from parenting. We're going to go crazy, said Mr. Green. Mr. Green's mom told them to go on a vacation. She would take care of their baby while they were gone. That sounds like a great plan, said Mrs. Green. The couple packed up their bags and were on their way quickly. The new parents thought they would love their first time away from the baby. They were very wrong. All they could do was worry about whether he was okay. They drove back home after one day. Stephen had just moved to California. He had so many things to see and do. He wanted to go camping by the beach. He wanted to visit Hollywood. But above everything, he wanted to go to Disneyland. Stephen drove to Anaheim the first chance he got. He had been dreaming of seeing Disneyland since he was five years old. He was now twenty-five. As soon as Stephen walked into the park, he turned into a five-year-old again. He was so full of excitement that he cried. Stephen went back to Disneyland at least once every month. He loved his new home. Mr. Robinson was a cool grandpa. All the neighborhood kids loved him. He always had funny jokes to tell. He taught them how to play fun games. He even gave them ice cream every Sunday. The kids never wanted to leave his side. One Sunday morning, the kids were waiting for him to open his door. He never showed up. Mr. Robinson had passed away. Every house was filled with crying kids that night. The kids would meet at his grave every Sunday afternoon. This went on for many years. They would sit around and tell old jokes. They always brought ice cream. Mitchell buys a cup of coffee at his local cafe every morning. He always sees the same homeless man sitting outside. This man waits for people to come out. He asks everyone for change. Although the homeless man is very friendly, Mitchell does not like him. He is useless and lazy, Mitchell always said. 
One morning, Mitchell was running late to work. He stormed out of the cafe doors. Then he ran across the street to his car. Since he was in a hurry, he did not check for traffic. Suddenly, all he saw was a big white truck about to run him over. Luckily, the homeless man pushed Mitchell out of the way just in time to save his life. Mitchell gave him five dollars every morning after that. Samantha Williams was a young and pretty woman. Men were always asking her out on dates. Samantha did not want a boyfriend. She nicely said no to every man that asked her out. This broke many men's hearts. However, most of the men would just move on. One day, a man asked Samantha out for a cup of coffee. When she declined, the man was very angry. He began following her everywhere she went. Every time Samantha looked around, he was hiding nearby. Samantha was terrified. She was being stalked. Samantha called the police to ask for help. Don't worry, they, they told her. You're probably just imagining everything. Two days later, Samantha went missing. Harris had just turned 75 years old. He was feeling so ancient. He wanted his youth back. He used to be strong and handsome. Now he was wrinkly and flabby. He used to love adventure. He even wrestled an alligator once. Now he was too lazy to even go for walks. Time passed by too fast, he kept thinking. I need to be more daring. Harris knew what to do. I'm going to go skydiving, he said. He picked up his grandson. We're going on an adventure, he told him. By the time they got to the airport, Harris was asleep. Forget it, said Harris. It's nap time. Wilson hated his job. His boss was a mean man. He didn't even get paid well. Wilson wanted to just give up and quit. However, he had to take care of his two kids. I want to give them a better life, he always said. Finally, Wilson decided to start changing their lives. He enrolled into college. He took classes every night. He quit his awful job. He eventually became a doctor. He started getting paid a lot. He was able to buy a nice house for his family. It even had a white picket fence. The American dream was finally his. Clark had a lot of passions. He liked science. He was a great swimmer. He was even great at singing. However, his biggest passion was pizza. He loved pizza. Clark graduated from college with a degree in chemistry. His parents were so excited for his future. You're going to make a great doctor, they always said. Clark did not want to be a doctor. All he wanted was to open up his own pizza place. That's ridiculous, said his mother. Think about how much money you could make as a doctor. Clark did not care about money. All he wanted was to spend every day making, smelling, and eating pizzas. Elizabeth Parker wanted a promotion. 
She had been working in her company for three years. It's about time I get a raise, she thought. I deserve it. She did deserve it. She was the hardest worker in the company. Her manager was now looking for a new assistant manager. Elizabeth was sure she would be picked. A month before this, a new man had been hired. He was very handsome, but also very lazy. Elizabeth's manager was clearly attracted to him. She was so attracted to him that she gave him the promotion. Elizabeth was shocked. She quit that day. Mrs. Adams took a knitting class. She did not expect it to be very fun, but she ended up loving it. She began knitting all day and night. First, she practiced making blankets. Then, she learned to knit hats and mittens. She even tried making socks and pants. Within one month, she had given all her grandchildren dozens of knitted pieces. She expected the kids to wear them at all times. It was the middle of summer. The children wanted to be in tank tops and shorts, not scarves and sweaters. They told their grandmother to stop. Joey Campbell was 14 years old. He had three sisters and no brothers. His father loved playing sports with him. Joey did not mind this. However, all Joey was truly interested in doing was dancing. All his sisters were allowed to take ballet classes. Joey wanted to sign up too. His father laughed at him. He thought he was joking. You know you belong in a football team, said his father. This made Joey angry. It was not fair that he was not allowed to dance if he wanted to. His sisters agreed. They secretly taught Joey all the moves. On the day of their ballet recital, Joey danced with them. His father was very proud. Jack Miller was angry at his neighbors. They are so inconsiderate, he said. These neighbors were very loud. They owned three dogs, two birds, and one goat. None of these animals ever shut up. Even more, they loved playing music all day. Jack would not mind this. However, his neighbors played it loud enough for the whole block to hear. It wouldn't be so bad if their music wasn't terrible, said Jack. Luckily, these neighbors soon moved out. Jack couldn't be happier. He would finally enjoy peace and quiet. Unfortunately, the new neighbors arrived with a baby. This baby cried just as loud as all the other things put together. It was Anderson's birthday. He was turning 21 years old. His friends planned a party for him. Anderson could now legally drink alcohol, but his friends wanted him to get very drunk. As soon as Anderson arrived, they gave him his first shot of tequila. He did not like the taste of it. His friends still convinced him to take another shot of it. He kept trying new drinks the whole night. All of these taste disgusting, said Anderson. The rest of the night kept getting blurrier. When Anderson woke up the next morning, he felt terrible. His head was throbbing. His stomach was turning. I'll never drink again, he yelled. Philip's dog had died. 
He had owned the dog for four years. He loved him so much. Philip was devastated. Philip's six-year-old daughter loved the dog even more. Oh no, said Philip. This is going to break her heart. He did not want to tell his daughter such sad news. Philip decided to lie. He told his daughter that the dog ran away. The girl cried for hours. Philip took her to the dog pound to check if they had their dog. Their dog was obviously not there. However, there were a lot of other cute puppies. Philip and his daughter took a new pet home. It was Scott's wedding day. He was very nervous. I don't think I'm ready for this, he thought. His forehead and palms were sweaty. His heart was racing. He was having a panic attack. Scott saw the front door of the church was open. Nobody was looking at him. He decided to run away. He stepped out of the church. He thought he was free. When he looked back, he noticed someone running after him. It was the bride's father. The old man was very fast. Come back here, the father yelled. I already paid for everything. Nelson got a new skateboard. He had only practiced for two days. All his friends already knew how to do tricks. Nelson was very impatient. He wanted to do tricks like everyone else. Nelson decided to try to jump down a set of stairs. Don't do it, said his best friend. It can't be that hard, Nelson insisted. Tony Hawk makes it look easy. One minute later, Nelson was flying three feet above the ground. He felt like he was flying in slow motion. Suddenly, he slammed into the concrete. Everything went black. Nelson woke up in the hospital. He had two broken arms. Even worse, his two front teeth were now missing. Martin is a long-distance ocean swimmer. He practices every morning in Hermosa Beach. One morning, he ran into a great white shark. He only saw it for one second. Then it quickly bit his ribs. Martin was carried to shore by his friends. He lost a lot of blood. Luckily, Martin somehow survived. None of his organs were taken. As soon as he healed, Martin went back to swimming in the ocean. He was not scared of sharks. Getting attacked by a shark is rare, says Martin. The ocean is their home. People are just guests. Plus, I probably just scared this shark. Angie Walker was going on a date. Her makeup was done. Her outfit was perfect. There was still one big problem. Her hair looked terrible. She had already spent one hour brushing it. It still wasn't looking any better. Angie's date was picking her up in half an hour. I don't know what to do, she screamed to her mother. Try curling it, suggested her mother. Angie turned on the straightener and wrapped her hair around it. Suddenly she smelled something nasty. Her hair was burning. She pulled the straightener away and a big chunk of hair fell off. This is a sign, cried Angie. I'm canceling my date. John Thompson finally got a girlfriend. She was very pretty. John wanted to do everything he could to keep her. On Monday, his girlfriend wanted to go jogging at 6 a.m. John wanted to sleep longer. 
He went with her anyway. On Tuesday, his girlfriend wanted to go shopping. John hated shopping. However, John still went with his girlfriend. On Wednesday, John's girlfriend wanted to have a picnic. The park gave John allergies. He still went just to keep her happy. By Thursday, John was very tired. He got a call from his girlfriend. John decided not to answer. I think I like my couch more than my girlfriend, he said. Chris Miller hated his college life. He was very fat. All his classmates made fun of him. It was hard for him to lose weight. People wouldn't stop laughing at him. After he graduated, he finally had time to go to the gym. He worked out every day. Eventually, Chris was hired to be a swimsuit model. He was very successful. Fifteen years later, his college reunion arrived. No one was able to recognize him at first. He looked very fit and handsome. He couldn't recognize anyone else either. They had all gotten fat and ugly. Jackie Davis had never owned a pet. She had always wanted one. She decided to go to the pet store. She bought a fish. This should be pretty easy to take care of, she thought. The fish died after one week. The water must have been dirty, Jackie said. She had only fed the fish once. Jackie went back to the pet store. She decided she was ready for something bigger. She bought a bird. The bird died after two weeks. He was probably sick, said Jackie. She ignored the empty food plate. Jackie visited the pet store one more time. She bought a dog. Within one week, the dog ran away. He was very hungry. He had run after a taco truck. Jenny Carter wanted a new white dress. She saw the dress in a store window four months ago. The dress was very expensive. Jenny had been saving her money to buy it. She finally had enough money to afford it. Jenny cashed her check at the bank. Then she ran to the department store. She tried the dress on. It fit perfectly. Jenny paid for the dress. She decided to wear it out of the store. She stood at the sidewalk with a big smile on her face. A car quickly sped by. It ran over a big puddle. All the dirty water splashed onto Jenny's dress. The dress was now dirty. A woman from the store popped her head out. We don't make refunds, she told Jenny loudly. Henry Lopez took his son Mario to the zoo. Mario loved animals. Henry thought the zoo would make his son happy. Instead, Mario was very angry. What's wrong? asked Henry. All the animals look so sad, said Mario. They want to be free, not stuck in cages. Henry was surprised. He looked at the tiger in the cage. Mario was right. Henry had never noticed how sad all the animals looked. By the time Henry looked down at his son, Mario was gone. Suddenly, Henry heard a lot of people yelling. Mario then came running proudly. Don't worry, Dad, he said. I opened the sad lion's door. 
Daniel White dreamed of being a painter. There was one small problem. He had never actually tried painting before. Still, he loved the idea of it. He was sure that he could be great at it. Daniel decided to take his first painting class. Painting turned out to be harder than he thought. All of Daniel's paintings looked terrible. For a whole year, Daniel practiced his painting skills. There was no large improvement. Daniel decided that it was time to give up his dream. I'll just try something else, Daniel said to himself. I've always thought I would make a great rock climber.